Hi everyone, Johanna here, coming to you in the middle of a snowstorm. If you're keeping track in our stories, you will know in fact that I am not in the snowstorm currently. I'm actually in Florida. So be sure to go and follow us in the stories and learn all about the Tropical Plant International Exposition. Why they don't call it the International Tropical Plant Exposition, I have no idea. We're gonna start our botanical terms and I figured we'd have a little bit of fun with it. Maybe not everyone wants to learn about botanical terms, but maybe if I'm dressed in a polar bear hat in the poles, you will wanna learn about botanical terms. So today we're learning about node and internode. The node is a part of the plant from which one or more leaves emerge, often forming a swelling or a knob. The base of a bud, leaf, branch, twig is always found at the node. This way, if you have no leaves on your plants, you'll be able to find where the node is. I like to think about it it as sort of the joint of the plant. The space between each node is called the internode. And the reason it's important to know where these are is because it helps you with the health of your plant. So if your internodes are really long, odds are your plant is stretching to find more light. If your internodes are shorter, then that means it's probably getting enough light or maybe even too much light. If you're taking a cutting, make sure to cut right in the middle of your internode because new growth always emerges from the node. And the reason plants do that is because if an animal came and decided to eat a vine or if a windstorm came and snapped a branch, then there's always an auxiliary bud or dormant bud that is going to continue that growth once it's damaged. It's a survival thing and it's super, super cool. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any other questions about botanical terms, please drop them in the comments below and we'll be happy to cover them in future videos. Thanks, have a great day.